I would say without a doubt, the most common question I get for the Hunter Call of the Wild is how to make money quickly, and my answer has changed over the years a lot depending on what has actually worked at the time, but currently I would say goose hunting is the fastest way to make money in the game the way that it is right now. So a couple of things that we're going to do, we're going to do a general goose guide in this video, and I'll show just how much money you can make as you do it, but quickly we'll talk about the setup. Now I have way more goose decoys than necessary in this field. But basically I only did three goose setups and you can have up to 200 decoys on your entire map. So I just sort of threw a bunch here, but 20 goose decoys in a setup is all you need. And that will be the max attractiveness. In fact, I'll show that in the store just so you can see it. It says right on here, the effect of multiple decoys in the same area stacks up to a max of 20 decoys. So yeah, I basically didn't realize they came in packs of five. So I tried to buy 20 and I bought 100, I think. So I just kind of have a bunch of them set up here. 20 is all you need, and then the layout blinds are good. You can actually use a tripod or something if you prefer that. But I do like the layout blinds simply because they get you in a pretty good position to actually be shooting geese, and we have some coming over, so I suppose we'll kind of look at the process of shooting them. I was going to do a little more setup stuff. We'll actually do that in just a minute. But basically, you have the goose decoy, or the goose collar, rather, that comes in the, I think it's called Wild Goose Chase DLC. That, along with the layout blinds, the goose decoys, and I believe there's some shotguns as well, but we're not going to use those shotguns for this particular hunt. If I'm not mistaken, that last one is maybe a rare? Looks a bit li lighter, so I'll probably try to get that one first. But the main guns we're actually going to be using for this are the 10 gauges, which are in the smoke and barrels weapon pack. And then I have the 22 for geese that are further away. So if you want to know my loadout, I'll look at that a little more in depth in a minute. But generally just... Nothing to do with money, but I will try to spot all the geese and see if I can notice anything different. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think this back one is a rare. But you have plenty of time as they fly around to take a look at them and make sure there aren't any rares or level 5s. Geese do max level 5, so if you're trying to get a diamond goose, that is the level you want to look for. And basically, you just want to let them get as low as possible. So we have two 10 gauges equipped. And ideally, that's like 6 or 7 geese if we can do it well. So we're going to go for this. We didn't hit that second one perfectly. I'll probably just shoot that again, actually. And not quite able to get that one. So that's where the 22 is going to come in. And you'll get used to this the more you do it. It doesn't actually require a huge lead. And I didn't practice beforehand, so I'm a little bit rusty. But yeah, the more of these you can get, the better. The 22 does guarantee a kill. But if you put two shots in them, that's just going to speed up the process a little bit. So... Here's the interesting thing about geese. They are an animal you can kill in bulk, really. I mean, we just killed, I think, five or six. 1,100 cash for a gold goose. That's, I believe, the biggest one in the flock, so we'll look at what a more average-sized one is. 917 cash for a level one. So you're looking at probably an average of 1,000 cash per goose. And like I said, we just killed, like, six. So if you bought this entire setup, I think maybe layout blinds and goose decoys come with a DLC. I actually can't guarantee that. But I'll actually go and do the math really quick in the store and see exactly how much it costs to basically set up everything with the 20 decoys and the layout blind. And I guess I'll include a tent as well. But yeah, I mean, you can make that money back really quickly and then you're just in a huge profit. But I believe I missed that one that we shot with the 22. Yeah, so one more there. Again, level 2, 955 cash. So that was a relatively... Uh, lackluster flock in terms of the levels. There was one level 3 male. A lot of flocks will have several level 3s. Even females can go to level 3 and I would think they're give, giving at least a little more cash than like a level 2. But of course the metal is where the cash really goes up. So if you do want to try to get the most cash, try to shoot the like 4s, obviously 5s if you see them because those could be diamonds. The higher level ones first, they will give more cash. Higher scores always do reward a little more cash. But I'm going to quickly do the math just to figure this out so you can see how quickly you can make your money back on this. And then we'll do a little bit of the rest of the setup. So if I did the math right, a tent, a layout blind, all the decoys, and the goose collar should come out to 54000 in-game cash. And again, I believe if you buy those DLCs, some of those items come with it. But I'm actually not 100% sure. So let's just say you do have to purchase everything with in-game cash. That's like 55 geese, and you've made all of your money back, and then you're making a profit. And we just killed six there in... I mean, we've been recording for like eight minutes, so you can really make money fast. And if you have enough money to do multiple goose setups, that can actually really increase the number of geese you're getting. So you can go back and forth. But if you want to see where I'm set up is here in the kind of 
almost northwest corner of Rathenfelt, right where the border actually bends over in, I think this might be Schoenfeld, but the uh, map name isn't actually showing up for me. But yeah, really good spot here. And my other favorite spot is up here in Ritterstein. It's these tiny little fields a lot further north. Again, my region names aren't properly showing, but I just have it in the biggest field on the eastern edge. So we'll come up here just so you can see what this setup's like. And I do actually have the tripod set up here instead of the layout blind. I believe I have a layout blind set up as well, but we can use the tripod just to show you that that actually works and that doesn't spook the geese. All right, so I've been sitting here for probably less than a minute and I can hear geese somewhere in the distance. So we'll go ahead and start using the collar. Now, as far as I can tell, the collar isn't completely necessary, but it does actually bring the geese closer to you when they actually come in. And I don't know if they spawned up in the sky there or if they just were maybe flying in a little higher than I thought. But again, I'll spot everything. I'll try to make sure I shoot the higher level ones first as we did before. And there's a few higher level ones in this flock than before. And we actually have even another flock coming in from behind us. So as I said, this is actually a really good spot. But I would say spotting all the geese is probably more important than worrying about calling um, right away. Because again, they do take a really long time to actually like come in and get down low where you can shoot them. So you have the time to do it. And again, you could potentially get diamonds or rares by actually making those spots. So with as many geese are here, uh, I don't know that I should really worry about trying to shoot the highest level ones. I should probably try to get as many as I can. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to let this flock circle around. These ones are going to land. Some of them will spook if they land too close to me, which may not actually happen. But I'm going to go ahead and get the gun ready. If they spook, we're going to start shooting. Otherwise, I'm going to let them get in where I can spot that level four. Yeah, they're going to spook now. So let's go for that. Kind of had to peer around the gun to get my shot off there, but... Now, I will say, like, ones like this, if you hit them with the 10 gauge and they don't drop, you're probably going to need a 22 uh, shot to kill it. And it is going to die. I see its health going down, but it's going to go really far away. And that's going to be a bit of an issue. So we'll get that with the 22. Um, generally, I try to shoot ones that are flying away in the field because they're a lot easier to find. But, uh, yeah. One more pro tip. If you're shooting them far away with the 22, keep them spotted and wait till they drop. So we just saw that one go down. We'll go ahead and mark that with our marker and then we're not going to lose it. So not the best job of shooting and getting as many geese as we could there. It was a bit of a mess with how many actually came in. But again, I think we got probably five and that's just how quickly you can do this. Um, we're right about a goose per minute since I actually started recording right now. And that's maybe not the rate that you can keep for a long period of time, but you can absolutely kill like... 30 geese in an hour, maybe more. And this is a method you can do to make money and you don't really have to pay that much attention. You can go watch YouTube. I mean, if you have a wireless headset, you can go do something in another room, wait till you hear the geese coming in, come back, start calling, shoot them and repeat. I was really just grinding for rare and diamond geese for probably a couple of weeks when I got home from Utah and I made hundreds of thousands shooting geese and Ammo is really cheap. I mean, if we go ahead and look at the bird shot here, since we're running past the tent, I'll show you just how inexpensive it is. And, uh, yeah, it just adds up. I inadvertently was making just tons of money just trying to get really a diamond goose. But let's look at the shotgun ammo, and we're using the 10 gauge brass bird shot. It is 200 for 10. I mean, if you hit all 10 of your shots and kill 10 geese, you make 10,000, and then it costs 200 to buy more. Like, it is. A really good investment uh, the ammo but looks like we killed at least six maybe even seven so honestly that wasn't terrible but yeah I don't have a ton of actual like guidance to do in this video other than showing you where the setups are showing you my loadout and kind of maybe showing a bit of like waiting till the geese come in spotting them all all that good stuff um, a lot of it's pretty straightforward just goose hunt and <laughs> you make a lot of money it's a really really good method to actually make cash in this game and if you want to see my complete loadout here, actually, I have all the different collars for potential animals that may just come walking into the field while I'm sitting here waiting for geese to come in. That does happen. Um, and I'll just call those in and shoot them. The weapon that I'm carrying for all those is the 243, which is basically the perfect Hirschfeld weapon for this. That can take fox, that can take roe deer, that can take fallow deer, that can take red deer. The only species that we can't get with the 243 
would be the European bison, and they will show up occasionally in some of these fields, but not the fields that I have my goose setups in, so it's not really necessary to worry about that. And you can carry 10 gauge slugs and shoot them anyway, they go up to class 9. But yeah, the last thing I'll say as far as actual, like, goose hunting goes, if you have enough money or if you've made enough money by goose hunting to buy a second setup, you can definitely do that, and I really think it does increase the amount of geese I get. I'll stay in one spot for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. If it seems like geese stop coming in, I just fast travel to the other spot, and usually quite quickly, a flock will come over and I can start making money again. So, yeah, if you can do multiple setups, that's great. If you can't, Maybe even try resetting the time, that was something I was doing as well during my diamond goose grind. If I would sit in one spot and I didn't see geese for a while, a quick time reset, just rest till usually early morning was doing fine for me. I was going till about 1300 and then changing back to morning. I don't know if that actually was, you know, a decent time to do that, but resting till like 5-6am and then continuing my hunt seemed to work well. So one more flock that's actually just flying over as I'm sitting here waiting. One uh, useful tip, perhaps, is to reload your shotguns. I am really bad at that. I forget that all the time, but luckily, as I said, these things take forever to come in. I've spotted them all. Uh, there's nothing super special, a couple of level threes. Not necessarily things that I would focus on. I think I'll just try to, you know, shoot the ones that come in close where I can get as many as I can. But I've been recording for 16 minutes. If we kill six geese here, we're going to be more than a goose per minute for, like, that period of time. It's quite effective. So some of these are actually landing. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one now. Try to get a double there and just shot in between those two, unfortunately, but that's four. Maybe it's actually three. Pretty sure I was counting one extra. But when they're that close, um, you barely even need to lead them. That's gonna be, I believe, seven, and I guess I'll even try to get that one if I can. There we go. That was a three, so extra money. And I could shoot the other ones. It's just getting to the point where I'm probably not going to find them all. And at that point, it's probably a little bit of a waste of ammo. So if there's a thing I can suggest maybe to EW, retrievers would be incredibly useful for this and would make this process make even more money because then you don't have to worry about necessarily keeping them spotted. That tip I showed earlier, if we had some sort of dog to go and retrieve them, that would be epic. But at least for the moment, um, I try not to shoot like tons of geese when they're getting back into the trees like that, because they are just hard to find, but, I mean, another flock coming over. This spot in Ritterstein is really, really good. Would definitely recommend that, so, you know what, why not? We're doing a goose guide. Um, maybe there's not a whole lot extra I can tell you, but maybe things I can show you, because this flock actually spooked a herd or saw me running around, so I'm still going to take my time and spot everything, make sure there's not going to be a diamond I'm missing out on. Seems like that three is the biggest. And I'll try to get him, if I can. Maybe try zeroing for 100. I don't know if I'm not leading him enough or what. So I'll try that again. They're getting out closer to 150. And I do change my zeroing quite a lot when I'm going for these. Sometimes that seems to help. Am I not leading him enough? Oh, I hit that one. So yeah, I wasn't leading him nearly enough. But again, uh, 22 shots will kill them no matter what. You may have to wait a little bit as we're waiting on this one, but again, keep them spotted. That way you know where they are and not going to be really a big deal. So, um, if I showed one thing there, it is play around with your lead. If you are trying to, you know, learn how to shoot with a 22 and it doesn't seem like you're hitting when you think you should, try changing the lead a little bit. Um, something I do a lot actually is mainly with ducks because they're a lot smaller and they fly a lot quicker. But sometimes I'll just fire like five, six shots in super quick succession out in front of them and see if I can figure out where the lead should be from there. So that's something you can actually try as well. But yeah, not a whole lot I could show there uh, since they did spook. But it's a little bit of extra money you can make with the 22 at least while you're sitting there. So of course I do have a couple of geese to actually go back and claim back in the trees back there. But you can actually rely on the hunting pressure a bit for that. So the center of the hunting pressure is the location the animal was when you shot it, not where it dies at, but where the animal was actually shot. So we can kind of go from there. We know the geese were flying somewhere like southeast-ish, and we'll see if we can find those three, but we have two up here and one actually right there. So luckily, we made some decent shots with the 22 and they really didn't fly all that far. I believe this is the one we dropped because it was a stomach shot, but yeah. The one nice thing is if you shoot them in the trees, 
it's generally a lot darker, and the lighter glowing does show up quite nicely, but, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this guide. As I said, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, I showed my favorite locations, which I actually think this may be my overall favorite. It might be better than Spot Down in Rathenfelt, but both of them are really good spots, and... Yeah, like I said, if you have any questions about what I'm doing or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to those and try to help you guys out. But I do think this is a pretty straightforward way of making, like, a ton of money in this game. And, I mean, we shot, let's go ahead and look at our latest harvest, probably over 20 geese. Yeah, I think there's 20 or 21 on this list, and it's completely filled with Canada geese. So we made over 20,000 in the course of 21 minutes is how long I've been recording. That's how good this is, and that's how much money you can make, and that's why I think goose hunting is the best way to make money in Call of the Wild, as the game is right now. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any uh, questions about what I'm doing in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.